Welcome everyone to the Break Night Creative and on this video I'm going to show you how I put together these Green Arrow inspired kick pads for the wrestling ring. Let's check it out. I'm a huge fan of the CW show Arrow. I know a lot of people may not like it, but I really dig it. I, I'm really into it, the style of it. I really like the actor Stephen Amell. I think he's great, especially him being a wrestling fan kind of make me like him a lot more. I really like the dark green colors, the hunter green colors that I have, especially with the leather. So I really wanted to use it for kick pads. And this is actually the second Green Arrow inspired set of kick pads. This is kind of the version two. As the first version I did, the padding, the extra padding that I did on the front was a little bit wider. But when I wore it in the wrestling ring, I wasn't a huge fan of how they look because they didn't curve and arch around my shin as much as I thought it would. So I only wore it the one time and thought I would eventually make another set that was better. Now I knew the best idea was to work with the outer edging of the original pattern I have for kick pads. Working with that edging and then copying that pattern to another piece of construction paper and then sketching some random designs that work with each other and complement each other and then transferring those to the craft foam that I'm using would make it easier to work with. I had a lot of issues sewing around the bigger pieces of the first version. Now doing it this way will make it easier to sew the material the green material on top of the black material, making it just so much easier to deal with. And it's a lot of cuts, a lot of pieces that I got to put together that I'm eventually going to glue on to keep it all together. Now this arrow piece that I made, honestly it was completely on accident. I didn't mean to do an arrow piece on the front, I just thought it was a nice complimentary piece for the set because I just wanted a line on the front. And all together, that's how it looks under the material. You see comic book characters like Green Arrow or Batman and their gear that they're wearing, their outfit, their costume looks like amazing, cool looking armor. So I wanted to be able to incorporate that into wrestling gear in some way other than just color schemes or elaborate designs. I'm not a huge fan of doing elaborate designs. I like doing very simple, straightforward, just random designs that are just cool looking and doing cool colors and contrasts, hence the khaki color that I'm using here to kind of break apart the hunter green and the black. So it's a little bit of a contrast that just makes that green pop a little bit more and I thought it complements the color really nicely. I've been doing this for quite a while and kind of mastered in some way the uh, process of making kick pads and it's very relaxing and soothing for me and I really enjoy it.
After doing all of the hemming and the pinning and the sewing, the last thing to do is the easiest thing to do, and that is putting on the elastic at the bottom of the kick pads, which I really enjoy. That is the last nail in the coffin, and they're complete, and then they look fantastic. And I'm a huge fan of how they came out. I love these kick pads. I just wish I could wear them a lot more. Hopefully all of you kind of get the ideas that I am doing here, incorporating to this, and try and make your own kick pads if you have it in you. So, go give it a shot. And that is it uh, for the Green Arrow Inspired kick pads. They came out great. I don't really have much complaints about them. If you are a wrestler and you're interested in having your own set of kick pads similar to ones just like this with the race padding and the armor looking design, if you have any ideas for designs specifically on how you want it to look, I'll be more than happy to try and adapt it to the padding and material. Doing wrestling gear is pretty fun for me. Even though I don't get in the ring as much anymore, I do enjoy making knee pads and kick pads and basic designs for wrestling trunks and biker shorts and stuff like that. If you want to keep track of everything that I'm doing or if you want to commission me to do any type of project for you, you can find me at Break Night Creative on all the social medias, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, hit me up on those. Otherwise, you can email me, breaknightcreative at gmail.com, and uh, shoot me a line and we'll go back and forth and figure out exactly how to put together what you want. I also have a podcast, a Breaking Night podcast. I do it with my buddy Sean Iredale of Amberland Studios where we talk about being creative and all the things that inspire us to be creative like movies, TV shows, comic books, toys, collectibles, wrestling, all of that. Especially nerdy things like wrestling gear too. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you have anything to say to me, please leave a comment below. And also share the video if you think anyone you know might be interested in all the projects that I'm doing. And subscribe to the channel if you want to stay on track with all the videos that I'm putting out there. But the social media is where you can see everything that I do first. So uh, thanks again everyone for joining me. I hope to see you next time. Uh, keep track of what I'm doing on all the social medias and uh, stay creative. Peace, love, and chicken grease. I'm out. <laughs>